but say that out loud, did I? I didn't hear what you said, so I'm gonna say no, you didn't. Like number one? Number one. Wow. And he has a pea shooter as well. I mean, that's like a really That's even smaller. So this is the other part about it is I just did it today and I was already like, I might cancel this. You know whom I'm hoping for, right? Some repaint that I've never heard of. Are they going to have it come with a stand or? That's what I'm gonna call him, he's Marge. I really need a big blue hair piece for him. Hey, welcome back BBC fans. As always, I'm Bobby the Bot. And I'm James the Con. And we're back with another round of news. But before we get into that, let's give a special shout out to our official sponsor, The Chosen Prime, where you can find many of the figures that we're going to talk about on pre-order or they some of them may be out. So you might be able to pick them up there as well. And you'll also be able to add to anything else you may collect uh, by going to their website. So definitely check them out. We also want to give a special shout out to our members. We will be doing a members live for Seeker Level and Up Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 o'clock Pacific time. So if you're not a member yet, you can always join. It's not too late to become a Seeker or above uh, to join us on that live. Also want to give a special shout out to our member, or excuse me, our subscribers for joining us on this crazy journey where I've been stumbling over my words for like 18 sets now uh, so, <laughs> uh, but with that we also want to give a special shout out to our newest member which is i am wolf thank you very much for joining we really do appreciate that and if you didn't get a chance to check us out live we want to give a special thanks to patriot prime reviews for inviting us on his channel and uh chopping it up with us on wednesday really good time so i think i covered everything for a, a long intro james did i miss out on anything no i don't think so um but just thank you to patriot prime reviews for having us on there so let's get into the news and let's start off with botcon um i don't know if we already talked about this or not i feel like we did but it'll be in fort Wayne, indiana june 27th to the 30th um and they actually posted a picture of various beachcombers saying redemption so i don't know if they're gonna have an exclusive that's beachcomber um you know they have the customizing class maybe you'll repaint it in g2 i don't know but either which way it's cool um if it was closer i'd go but that's not looking like it's in the budget hmm i've never been to a botcon it's not gonna be the same okay like no offense they it can't be the same because they're not affiliated with hasbro anymore that was that was a special time. I didn't say but that out loud, did I? I didn't hear what you said, so I'm gonna say no, you didn't. Um, so let us know if you guys are going below. Bobby, are you gonna be going? It would be fun to go. I've never been. I I I'm gonna say no for now, but it would be fun to go. What if they do another SG um, KFC junkie? Oh, I'll pre-order it and just. <laughs> <laughs> You definitely will pre-order it. <laughs> like you don't even need to worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I'll be interested to see what the exclusives are, but let's keep it going with Robeson. So we already saw this picture, but Robeson did put out that in April we'll be seeing more stuff. So they kind of teased us again with this. Um, I didn't zoom in, but it looks like there might be something there, but I don't know. So let us know if you see any new clues in this, but we'll be getting more news on this very, very soon. And we interviewed um, Lucas of Robeson. Logan. Logan, Logan, excuse me, Logan of Robeson. Um, so go watch that um, interview. It was very interesting. Yes. Might have to reach back out to him and see if we can get some more snippets of information. Probably not, but who knows? Stay tuned. Bobby has a way with words. Now let's get into some leaks. So this is a interesting leak that's... I don't think either of us are going to be very interested in. And that's, we have a possible first look at the Transformers G1 Bumblebee. Um, this is via T Hunted on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Two things. I may or may not pick this up. I like everything except for the wheels. 
why are the wheels sticking out so much? That's my only issue with it. I can see that too. Yeah, I didn't notice that. They just look like normal Hot Wheel wheels to me, but I do see how they're sticking out. I mean, it looks fine. Um, I won't be picking it up though. Well, this is the Bumblebee that I like, even though it, it it's yellow, but it doesn't look like Bumblebee. I, I have no problem with it being the version of Bumblebee. I just don't care for any version of Bumblebee that much to go buy a non-transforming Hot Wheel of them. Yeah, it looks like a um, hot rod. It looks like a hot rod yeah. bug instead of a like the Bumblebee bug. Yeah, yeah. Now, if they do, I don't know how they do it, but if they do Megatron as like a tank and then Optimus as a, you know, his semi-truck, flat no semi truck then i might pick both of those up but i would skip out on bumblebee and heartbeat i can see that yeah all right well let's go into just announced and i think you're gonna have to tell me what this is because i saw this and i was very confused and that is monroe x transformers 40th anniversary specials i guess they're leading automotive service and tire providers and they're going to have transformers themed promotions I know I've never heard of Monroe before, so have you? I have not. I'm going to have to talk to my friend Mike about this. Uh, he's really big in, with the car industry. I mean, of course, I know about Yokohama and, and Valvoline and things. but Yeah, I've heard of them, but I guess it's Monroe might be the parent company. Um, I don't know. So it looked like they're going to have photo ops inside their dealer mm. with the G1 Optimus Prime or something. I honestly it made no sense to me so let us know below if you're going to be going and taking advantage of this special it is time for me to get new new tires i think on my little car so maybe maybe let's talk about some upgrade sets and first we've got go betters so this is the weapon upgrade set for the magic square lord of war so i actually had a look this up so you see all the different guns on the picture where it combines he only yeah. comes with that pistol that tiny pistol at the top like number one number one wow and then so this is an upgrade set to make it an actual rifle oh wow that's... at least that's what i found while looking it up please let me know if i'm wrong below um and maybe that's too accurate i don't know but i'm like i, I don't like remember him having a piece to have <laughs> yeah, I feel like he needs to have a, a weapon. So, um, but this is really cool. It looks good. The, it does. the gray seems to match perfectly. So, um, I'd be picking it up if I had this magic score definitely because, like you said, he couldn't have the cricket from Men in Black. Yeah, I mean, he definitely. How are you going to be a, a a combiner of all military vehicles and you have a little pea shooter? <laughs> <laughs> makes no sense my favorite was the fans project add-on they gave him two shotguns pump action shotguns that was really cool um I never saw that does hmm. it make sense because they're two pump action shotguns in both hands but it's still cool nonetheless I mean, um, he's just like, you know, he's, he's exactly that. he's that strong yeah yeah <laughs> or like a little arm comes out and does it for him since he's a combiner. um Next, we've got Go Better's Jetpack Kit for New Age Toys, H27 David. I do got to say, it's cool that all these Legends figures are getting upgrade sets. Um, but yes. what's really cool about this one is the backpack is magnetic. So I guess he has metal. It's like die cast on his back. So you put this little magnet in the backpack and it kind of just magnetizes straight to his back. I thought that was really ingenious. Um, and it looks fine. Yeah. I know it's part of a G1 episode, but I don't think of Prime having a jetpack. Yeah, I think it's Sideswipe's uh, jetpack. I also don't think of Sideswipe as having a jetpack. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> and what's funny about it is that the jetpack usually comes with Optimus Prime and there's no jetpack that comes in any any Sideswipe that I have. Exactly. That I yeah, can think so. of. I might be wrong, but I can't think of one. I, I can't think of one either, but um, I like the magnetic thing. I think that's a really cool way that's to design it. That's really cool, especially for the fact of sometimes, you know, you have to clip something on or, you know, change out a piece something. or something. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Maybe we'll especially start for an add-on set. Yeah, yeah, because it's an add-on set. So it's like 
it's literally an add-on set without having to change the base figure at all so i like that i like that a lot next we got fun b studios they're doing a custom connector piece so you could go ahead and give um your earthrise prime the megatron arm which is actually very very cool it's based off of the skybound comics so i think this is really cool i i saw a picture of this uh i didn't see if it can actually transform with him but either way it's cool I'm thinking if, about if it. I had a 3D printer, I would I'd print it. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> but I don't have this prime, so I guess I wouldn't print it. <laughs> <laughs> you can print it for me. I appreciate it. There you go. I'll print it for you. <laughs> so all right, well, let's move straight into updates. The first thing is all for you, Bobby. Um so you passed on those non-transforming figures at TFCon, so you might as well get this. So this is the YOLO Park AMK series pro g1 optimus prime and this is via baidu user so you need to get this it looks just like how you want your optimus to look it looks really good it it looks very very good i i'm hopeful that people who collect these really like this one it it looks good (laughs) (laughs) yeah i mean there's not much more to say um i think i still think you should pick it up for the optimus shelf no. Yeah, you should you should you should go back and get that three zero one two. <laughs> okay, so this I know this oh. is a crazy slide. Um, oh. I really didn't feel like talking about every individual character again. So if you guys noticed, we didn't do a whole episode on the fan stream because it was literally everything we've already talked about. There was not one new piece of well, there was some information that I have written down because I did watch it. Um, but there wasn't really anything interesting for a whole episode, especially since I think we've talked about these figures for like three or four episodes straight. So, um, so disappointing. We don't want, yeah. So some cool things that I saw with the, um, what's that called with the live stream was shard is a fembot, which is fine. That's kind of cool. Um, and they said that she was inspired by the death crystal in G1. Um, I guess there's a green death crystal. Please let us know below. Um, Which is cool. I still think she's going to be a fungus monster in my, (laughs) you know, a unicronian minion that controls fungus. Um, Gears was unintentionally leaked, I guess they said when he first came out. Because it was Hasbro did come out with it, but it wasn't on purpose, which I thought was funny. Um, Starscream uses the joints of the Siege Tetra Jet inside you don't see it really but that's what his skeleton is made of i found that very interesting as well um i really like those tetra jets so it's probably going to be a good figure which also makes sense you know um we have andrew who we've been talking to and he's been in the comments and he's been writing some very very interesting posts go read them if you haven't um already and um that also makes sense why this figure is so good because it cuts down the budget because they already used previous tooling yeah so I, I think that's really cool. Um, Sandstorm, they mentioned his handsome face, and they're looking into getting that for everybody. But we all know they already have a plan. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a re-release, a repackaging. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a Studio Series 6, 86 version. Um, cool. You know it is. Um, Wheeljack is also up for pre-order. I do want to see. I hate how they call Bumblebee a UFO because he's not unidentified. He literally <laughs> has a name. Um, and, <laughs> and the, the one guy, the, the marketing manager said that there's going to be a radical reveal next week, but then everybody else is saying that studio series is at WonderCon, So I don't know when we're going to be seeing more stuff, but, um, these are all up for pre-order. Now, Bobby, did you pre-order any of them? I did. I pre-ordered the wheel jack. The silver bolt. That's what you did. Right. Congrats. No, you pre-ordered Silverbolt. Uh, it's your favorite out of all these. Well, I, I already, I mean, I got Silverbolt. You're talking about from from uh, Dreamstar or the the Combiner. I did. I already have that one, so I didn't pre-order that. Uh, all right, so you so you got Wheeljack. I did Wheeljack. I did um, Shard. I did uh, Sandstorm. 
Chromia, and I did Gears. Oh my god, you almost got everything. I did. Wow. Now, with that being said, it was only because if I ordered over X amount, I got some some money off. And oh, you did it all at Target? Uh, no, actually, I did it at GameStop. Oh. And it was like 10 bucks off or something like that. So I figured that will help with the gears. Bring it down to what I think the figure probably should cost. Well, I just picked up Shard and Starscream. Oh, you didn't do I Chromia? Think, uh, that is a figure that if I see it in person, I will pick up. But it's not one I'm pre-ordering. The funny thing is... I almost I was... didn't do Shard, honestly. Wow. After looking at it. For, and I was like, 25 bucks. That big tail that comes off of it is really off-putting to me. I like... It should have folded up on the back or something. So this is the other part about it is... I just did it today. And I was already like, I might cancel this. <laughs> so... Oh, yeah, yeah. Because so, I saw yeah. that big tail coming off. And then Starscream, I looked at it and I'm like... They said, oh, we might do more Seekers. Oh, because we never do that as a joke. And I'm like, I would be mad if they came oh. out with like a Thundercracker and a Thrust and a Skywarp and all these people. And I didn't have Starscream. Yeah. So um, I'm all in on probably all those Seekers. Um, yeah, but there's just not much enticing me going on with this. So. I mean, the Willjack and the, and the Sandstorm. And maybe the shark. Well, the Willjack and the Sandstorm are definite ones I'm going to get. Everything else I may cancel. It's funny because those are the two that I knew I was out of right away. Yeah. Out of Which all of these. Sense. Which yeah. makes sense. That Wheeljack. Woo, boy. That's, that's a figure. You're going <laughs> to have to, you're going to have to show me when you get that. So yeah. let's keep it going with Hasbro. So Marco Clonus, um, which I think is one of the designers that we see. Another thing with the designers, they did not look happy to be there. <laughs> I don't know if you watched it, but that that's what one of them said last time. He's like, oh, well, I'm grumpy and that's perfect because I don't want to be here. And I really think they don't want to be doing these lives. Um, come on, Hasbro. Don't make them do something they don't want to do. Uh, but he showed off um, Ferric and Cannonball. And the only thing interesting that I read from this is Cannonball was supposed to be a partial of activate sound wave that would have been so much cooler hmm you that's know you where, remember that reactivate yeah, sound wave that, that's where because i was like this alt mode looks familiar so this isn't what it is this is skips. i know i know it's not yeah. but i'm saying it like like it looked familiar but it didn't it didn't look like skids per se yeah um so it looked like it was like a little bit of a mix between at least I haven't looked at my skids in a while. That's what I was thinking. I was like, is this skids no, it, or it looks like a mixture of something? It definitely does not look like skids. It looks like a, almost a complete reshell. At least the hood's completely right. Different. Yeah, and maybe that's because it was based off of that originally and they moved it over. They also showed off some cool concept art of the heads, which I really appreciate it. I like to see that. Um, but if it was reactivate sound wave, that would have just been cool. But he said due to mold availability, they couldn't do it. So I'm assuming it had something to do with it's the game studio's design and they couldn't use it for walmart or something like that um but these look good yeah i i i see that um he has his gun pegged on his leg which is interesting I, it's just a place for it to go they probably wanted to show him holding the new weapons yeah i just i'm saying it's just interesting that that's what he can do now <laughs> you know I think he could do that before. Well, he didn't have the other guns. The the Cyclonus didn't have the. Well, the, yeah, I know, I know, but you could still peg it on his leg. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, you know, I, w I wasn't thinking about pegging it on his leg when he only had one gun. But this way, he has, you know, some options for weapons, so kind of have some storage. And again, I never thought about it before, but I really like it how he holds those two guns. Oh, I like that too. Like that. that looks pretty cool. Um, yeah. and then you can see the Mega Buster on um ferric as well which i like i think that's pretty cool he could be like mega man and then if you look at cannonball you could see that the like what's that called 
the siren comes off and he holds it. I didn't know what that was. I I think that's kind of stupid, but you know. <laughs> it's probably that it's easier to do a new piece like that than to get to mold the back piece. And then they're like, oh well, here you go. It's a weapon. You know, you know how Hasbro does. It is cool that he comes with the cyber key though. I will give yeah. him that. Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> okay. It's just it's, another accessory that I did wasn't expecting Hasbro to put in. Yeah, I mean we do they do miss out on stuff that you would expect. I mean look the, look at the mini cons. Yeah. So don't get us started. <laughs> I'm just gonna say one thing and then we'll get off of it. If they made like hot shot in that Voyagers with a mini con, I can excuse the price. Okay, now we're gonna move on. I'm not gonna <laughs> Continue. And the first thing is we got MX24 y Yaguchi. <laughs> that name. <laughs> Test shots. So what do you think of this car mode, Bobby? Out of the Omnibots, this was my least favorite. But I like it. I think it looks good in car mode. It, look, it looks really good. And yeah. I'm, I've been waiting to see when they were going to start releasing it. Because, I mean, the first Omnibot came out so early last year and they you know had three four of them come out so mm -hmm. i was waiting for these other two modes to come out so i'm i'm and here you'll for have it. like five more to get with this i know um so i know you like this figure but this is one of the worst things i've ever seen mm. that looks like that. horrible that backpack i mean it, it it's it's almost like the Origins Wheeljack. It looks better, <laughs> but it's almost the same type of thing. And you know this is X Transbot, so how many hinges on there are going to break? Well, you know, looking at it from the side, like from, looking at it from the back, it looks huge. But when you look at it from the side, it doesn't look like it sticks out far, though. So, But it sticks out wide. It does stick out wide. I don't, and even on his arm... On his arms, is, is that on his arms? The the other window, is that off off of his arms or? That's that hanging off of his arm. You're right. Yeah. You know. So yeah, I don't I don't really like the way that looks. I, I think the other one looks so much better. Yeah. This one, this you know, I call out Hasbro when they do bad, and I'll call X Trans bots out or any company out when they do bad. In my eyes, I think this looks horrible. Yeah, it doesn't look good. And maybe when we see it in color, it won't be as bad. You know, I get it. But right. right now, this is one of the worst third-party figures I've seen in a long time. This, the head looks good. That's about all I can give well, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But Hasbro has a lot of good-looking heads, too. And he has a pea shooter as well. I mean, that's like a really... That's even smaller. Yes. <laughs> like that is Cricket from Men in Black. Yeah. That's, without a doubt. That's bad. I'm, I'm hoping that these are early test shots... And that it's going to look better than this because this looks this does look bad. I hope it does too. But the car mode at least looks good. So car mode you can just have good. them all in car mode. Yeah. yeah. Which would suck. But yeah. Because I, I do have the repaints <laughs> pre ordered as well. Well, so, yeah. And we know you're going to get them. Yeah. You, you've you got what? I think it was $400 in this mold already? Yeah, probably so. Once all is said and done. Yeah. Probably so. Yeah. Well, let's see if you have $400 on this next molt, too. Uh-oh. And that is the DX9 D18 Masterpiece Scale Prowl. Bought. I'm very happy with this. Really? I'm very happy with this. Really? Yes. Oh, good. Good. So so you're, you are four figures deep. At, there's going to be at least four figures, if not more. Oh, yeah. Blue Streak um blue I'll streak be, there's gonna be blue silver streak, streak silver streak um, um well, smoke I... screen prowl that's what i was thinking of. and smoke. so i don't think it looks bad i hate that chest but i think that's because it's a prototype yes i because I, I think it's gonna go together better hope... yeah um but it looks like it has a lot of posability it does look like a good figure you know whom i'm hoping for right some repaint that i've never heard of no, you've heard of it, Barricade. Oh, oh. G1 Barricade. I'd buy that in a heartbeat. Yeah, I... You'd pick it I, up, too, don't lie. I probably will. 
<laughs> I just I like the way the legs look. I, I like the way that the legs are clear. Um, you know, with the Takara and um, hell, even the original G1, it was just like you know the the glass from the the rear view or the rear of the car was the legs, and it clearly showed. This looks like it cleans up really well, and some things probably tuck under or something like that, and it looks really good. Yeah, it does. Um, so yeah, I'll get it if they do a barricade. I might get it if they do a blue blue streak. That would be the only other way. Because I do have the blue blue streak in Takara. You mean silver streak? Uh, blue the streak. blue version of them. Yeah, blue streak is... Oh, yes, yes. Silver. I was, yes, I was... Uh, never blue mind. streak never is mind. normally silver. Yeah, never mind. I mean, right. I call I call them... I call blue streak the blue one and silver streak the silver one because that makes sense. Yeah. And but I know... <laughs> but yeah, exactly. So the blue version of this mold, the, the, the diaclone colors... I would probably pick up as well, depending on the price. Yeah, if this or, thing's like $300, I wouldn't be picking that up. If um, any DX9 figure is $300, I'm not picking it up. <laughs> I mean, their, um, their I, I, it, Gabriel was, or their Omega Supreme, I think was $300. But yeah, but that's a little different. That I'm just sense. saying, the price has to be right. Um, yeah. Cause it doesn't, I hate that knee, for, I just noticed that. Oh, how it separates. Yes. That looks horrible. And it looks like he has limited elbow articulation. Mm. It, yeah. I, well, yeah, it, it swivels. It looks like there's a swivel at the top. No, I meant the, the but, elbow yeah, bit. The, yeah, it just does this. Like, um, it looks like 90 degree at the very most. So. Yeah. I. But it looks good. Yeah, I think this will probably be like 85 bucks, something like that. For the decos I want, I'd, I'd get them. Yeah. Definitely. So we don't have a masterpiece scaled um, barricade, so I'd totally be in on that. Yeah, I'm in on this, though. Good. Up, good. Are you in on this as well? Oh, yeah. That was that was a, a easy one. I am looking at... Are they going to have it come with a stand or an adapter because since i'm seeing this white piece on here um and that looks like a, a seeker stand are they going to have a stand come with this figure or an adapter for it to go on a stand it, it seems kind of weird that they're showing it on the stand yeah um it is a different color so they could have just 3d printed one really quick just for display purposes so who knows? But it does look good. It does. It I does, and, and it cleans up so much better than that X Trans bot figure. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Um, I just don't remember, you know, them showing their Blitzwing when they came out with the Blitzwing. I, and I could be wrong, but I don't remember them showing the Blitzwing on a stand or anything like that. So that's what makes me wonder if they're. I. Up. I don't think we saw the Blitzwing in this prototype form. Did we not? We saw. I we think we saw it colored, and then it was released. Really? I don't remember. Well, I don't. I don't it. remember. Yeah. So, anyways, yes, I am in on this from Star Toys as well, and it looks great. I'm now. Let's get into something else. So, fans, toys, Marge. That's what I'm going to call him. He's Marge. I really need a big blue hair piece for him. <laughs> um, and right, which. I guess he could be that one guy from Breaking Bad, are available for pre-order. It's $200 for Wright and about $270 for Marge. And both are pre-ordered. That sounds so expensive for both of these. I don't even... Well, I, you did say if he was under 300 bucks, you were going to get Marge. I, I did, but now I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't want this. I only want the inner robot. Like I'm looking at this right here and saying... This looks not like Ultra Magnus to me. And yeah. So I'm like 270 could be two really good figures. So I don't know. Well, time time will tell. I think I And they are for, for pre-order at the Chosen Prime. So as of recording this, they're available. James Bond Smoke. 
I'm just saying. I mean, I I I think when I look at the inner robot, I'm like, I want it. But when I look at this, I have no connection to this character. I only have a connection to the inner robot. And what am I gonna do? Have the trailer just hanging around? Hey, I mean, it it, it can turn into um, some lamp. armor that you can just have like laying around. <laughs> yeah, I I just I've never really liked this Ultra Magnus design. So it's not as bad as the Haslab one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but Hulk I, Myth- I I've Hulk Magnus. Yeah, yeah. This this one. It I don't know. Good. It looks good. It, does, it looks fine. It's just not as detailed as I like my figures. Um, it doesn't look like there's a lot of paint on it. So, and there could be, like the red could be painted, but there's not a lot of detail work. Let me put it that way. So, and I also don't like the red bumper. <sighs> I think you just blew maybe, maybe they'll come out with a knockoff and I'll pick that one up because... I, uh, I, I think it's too much for me yeah, looking at I, this picture. It's, this is an instant buy. Uh, the They both are. And that was, I don't think that was a surprise for anybody. I I really like Scavenger's gun as well. I, I just think they did such a good job with cool. his, his gun. I just remember the G1 toy and they did a really good job with that. But I'm in on both of these, even though I, I don't really like that purple. I just want to know, are we going to get these by fourth quarter, um, which is what I saw um, for for March. I didn't really, I didn't pay attention to Scavenger. So hopefully it's by the end of the year at the latest. Yeah. And hopefully the arms don't fall off like the power glide. Oh, God. That was that's the worst figure I've had from fans toys. <laughs> That was, if my that, figure came with the arms falling off, that would be. That was. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. So why don't we move into other figures that I'm not going to be getting after seeing them in color, and that's Terra Hell. Oh, this is this is so bought. This is red swoop. I I I don't like these colors at all. Not because it's a red swoop. It looks like a racing car on a <laughs> on a bird and, a, and on on a pterodactyl, and I don't like that. <laughs> now i can't unsee it um <laughs> but all of the all of their characters have you know the the you know numbers and letters on them like the predicate no and thing. that's fine i'm not worried about that i think it literally looks like a formula one racer that's in the shape <laughs> of this i i i don't I, I just don't like the deco i think it's too much red um not enough black not enough see-through red. Throw in some teal in there. Um, I'll wait for the redeco if they make one. Yeah, this is this is bought. I I like it. I just have a feeling that the this is kind of what they did with the the first one, Stegosauro or whatever his name is. Um, we saw pictures and he looked more red. And then when the figure, when they actually showed the figure, it looked gray. You know, so I'm I'm okay either way with how they do it. And here's the um, pterodactyl mode, which does look good. But again, I think it's the wings. The striping on the wings is what's throwing me off. I think that's what it is. It doesn't look bad, but in this mode, he also looks, I don't know, looks like a chicken. I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's the first thing that comes to my mind, even though he doesn't really look like one. He's a funky chicken. It's related to Death Source's. It's Death Source's distant cousin. Now, if they came out with this in Death Source colors, I would pick that up in a heartbeat. No, I'm. I'm. Ooh, in that's board. what they should do: is the repaint blue, blue and black. That would look great. <laughs> I'm in for it. I just hope that the transformation is not crazy. Uh, I think with the with the. With the their Predator King with their dive bomb, the dive bomb wasn't that crazy of a transformation. Out of all, of I don't that, think it was horrible. Out of that that whole set, I think that was probably the easiest. So, hopefully, this is the same. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting for them to start dropping. 
what's going to be crazy is if they do the repaints i know with the gold figures they were coming out so fast it was like not even a, it, it felt like it wasn't even a month apart that they were coming in uh so i'm i'm happy hopefully they can finish this set i mean it'll be great got one in january i got mine in january i think it was or maybe february get this one maybe in april may let's say may june and then maybe get another one before the end of the year and then finish off the cast next year that'd be cool that would be um but we'll see when you get this in hand i will say maybe if i see it actual pictures and not a render and the yellow is more gold that might change what i'm thinking of because right now it looks really yellow in these pictures i was looking at uh, i must have put mine up i put mine in the case so i was thinking it might still be hanging around but no all right well let's get into what's incoming the first one's all for you You've been liking a lot of these figures that have been coming out, so you might as well pick this one up as well. Um, and that is Transart Skateboard Gorilla. So you really like Transart's figures. You've gotten more than me, so why don't you pick this up? Uh, this is this is in line with your collecting style, sir. No, when it's Ape Link, then it'll be in line with my collecting styles. You're the one that gets the normal repaints of figures. I don't even like this figure. I don't like this character. <laughs> I will not be picking this up. I I don't know how to skateboard. Why am I gonna buy a transformer who skateboards? Yeah, this oh, is hoverboarding. I, I don't have a hoverboard either. So, <laughs> so yeah, this um, is a pass. Yeah. yeah, this isn't my favorite primal. My favorite primal is season one. Um so I'll be passing on this as well. It's never. It, it was fun when I was a kid to play with the original toy because I was a kid, but it's never been my favorite one. Is he but if they redouble it as Ape Link, what? Is he holding a megaphone? It looks more powerful than a gun than that um, Omnibot. I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, but again, if this was um, Ape Link, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. But not optimus primal no this is the blue chrome looks nice though the blue chrome does look nice yeah next we've got black mamba's ls 05s ancient leader battle damaged version again i think this is something you should buy no you go right in with the rest of your movie figures you've got white drift so do you yeah but i already have this figure in the official release back so you might as well get it you love repaints. Go ahead and go ahead and get the battle damage. Get get the this new version. This isn't much of the repaint. Um, it doesn't look bad. The figure's fine. I just don't like it as Grimlock. That's all you. It's not Grimlock I, at all. So you can get that. Well, I already got it, so I'm not getting another one. Um, <laughs> he's packed away right now. Exactly. That's, but again, that's another one, so you don't have to unpack it, the one you have. Yeah, I'm not unpacking the uh, that one I have or getting another one. Um, but this figure isn't bad. It's actually fun to transform. I think this one looks fine. It's an oversized version. But, um, yeah, I'm good. Uh, this will not be in my collection. <laughs> not at all. All right, let's get a recently released. We only got one thing. Uh-oh. And I think you might want to get this as well. Don't believe it. We've got yeah. Core Cheetor. That's and this was cited by TFW user Extra Zero at the Bell Oil Target Khan. in Maryland. <laughs> That's no, what it <laughs> If I saw this in person and nobody else has seen it in the US, I probably would have picked it up. Um, <laughs> but now that somebody's seen it, I don't need to pick it up. Yeah, that's it's not going to happen. I like that it's a Beast Machines character. Um, I'm surprised they didn't do like Stryka. Or somebody like that. They did Cheetor. But um yeah, I'm good. If it was Strike, I would have bought it though. I'll tell you that much. It could have been whoever. If it looked like that, it's not going to come <laughs> home. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they said they, they they said, Yeah, we needed to get some sort of um beast machines in there for the legacy so that's why we put this i'm like that's why you guys put that 
Energon Megatron. You just wanted to say you put every part of Transformers in there and just pump that out. That makes sense now, and that makes sense why nothing is goes together, because they didn't care. They just wanted to have one of every character, one of every series out there. So. Yeah, no, that's that's not cool at all. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, you can keep that. That's 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 all you. Even my dog is sitting here looking at it like it's he's like, why? Why is James still showing that? I don't know why he's still yeah, showing no. that. I don't know. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go, Anakin. So, but if it was up to me, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I would want different Beast Machine characters. It doesn't look like the worst figure in the world, but it, <laughs> it, definitely not it, the best. No, no, no. Diff. Now, if they repaint it as Cat Scan or Night Slash Cheetor or um, that blue Cheetor, I will get that. But I don't know what you're yeah. talking about either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's on. He's on some. He's on some good oh, energy. Awesome. He's on some exactly good, some dark energy. He's on. Mm -hmm. He's on all of it. That is, uh, yeah, that's definitely not going to happen. So, I mean, hopefully, it, it. I hope they do come out with all those repaints that you just mentioned, okay. so you can. They pick will out, come out with one of them so because can, Hasbro doesn't care about those type of figures. Hey, you should buy it and repaint it. No. Yeah, yeah, that's what you should no, do. No, not, 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 not that, not that big. If I'm going to put effort into repainting something, it's not going to be that ugly thing. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be ugly after you finish painting it. And I don't you're care. Right. How, I don't care how much painting you do. Okay, you're right. <laughs> it looked better. I'm lying. Okay, it would still be bad. Okay. You don't it have would to still be that. bad. Yeah. You don't have to look well, at the Well, like the face is what's the worst part of it, honestly. <laughs> the, 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 yeah, exactly. That's the that's the worst part of the whole thing. So, all right. Well, that's everything we have for you. If you have watched this far already, thank you so much. Um, we appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know, and do it again um, next week. Members, we will see you on Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific. And um, go ahead and hit that like button, and we'll see you guys really soon. Yeah, as always, till all debates are won, and my dog is laying on my arm. He doesn't want to do anything but say, see you guys next time.